The NCAA Wrestling Championships are officially canceled. They will not be happening. We won't be seeing Spencer Lee wrestle at 125 pounds for a title. We won't be seeing any craziness pursuit at 133 pounds with RBY and DeSanto and Sebastian Rivera because there will be no championships this year. This is the worst news I've received this entire year. I'm going to show you exactly what the NCAA said in their statement. I mean, this is just awful awful news. So what did the NCAA say? Well, they had this to say via Twitter. Today, NCAA President Mark Emmert and the Board of Governors canceled the D1 men's and women's 2020 basketball tournaments, as well as all remaining winter and spring NCAA championships. So yes, they're throwing basketball out front because of March Madness, but that means wrestling too. This decision is based on the evolving COVID-19 public health threat. Our ability to ensure the events do not contribute to spread of the pandemic and the impracticality of hosting such events at any time during this academic year, given ongoing decisions by other entities. So that essentially means that there will be no NCAA wrestling championships and it will not be postponed. As you can see, it's impractical to host it at any time during this academic year. So it's not postponed. They are full out canceling the NCAA wrestling championships. This is awful. I mean, they already announced that there were no fans going to be allowed in the venue. Okay, that's fine. Well, now they're just not allowing anybody to compete. Nobody will win an NCAA wrestling championship this year. Nobody will All-American. There will be no team champion. The Hawkeyes or Penn State or Nebraska, whoever you're rooting for, they're not winning a 2020 championship. The last time that the uh, that this event was outright canceled was back during World War II. So during the 1940s was the last time that this has happened. And now, now here we are. So what happens to these wrestlers' eligibility now? That's the biggest question that a lot of people are asking is, Will these wrestlers now be able to compete an extra year? Uh, or will, especially if he wins a title next year, just be forever a three-time NCAA champion and not a four-timer? That's a big question that I have too. So if these wrestlers are granted eligibility uh, for another year to compete, which has not been granted yet, nobody has said anything about an extra year of eligibility. If they're granted this extra year of eligibility, now you're going to see programs and teams and coaches running into issues because of scholarship money. Because yes, there are scholarships available for the wrestlers here during that four or five year time span. But now if wrestler is granted an extra year and he's promised that money uh, for a certain time period, well, he's going to get that money. But then you have freshmen coming in who were then also promised money. So then you may just see wrestlers be hitting that transfer portal because of money issues. So this is not just a one day or three day thing that was supposed to happen, you know, next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This is a long term effect. You're going to see wrestlers. I mean, I, I just feel so bad for these athletes that train this entire season for an NCAA title or, or, or just to make it to the national tournament. You know, not, I mean, just, just to be able to wrestle under the big lights in front of all these fans. And now they will never get that chance. And to me, that's just completely saddening. You know, as a wrestling fan, yeah, of course I want to watch these wrestlers compete. Um, and, and I think fans were okay. They, you know, they didn't want to watch it on TV, but because there were no fans allowed, well, okay, I'll settle for that. I'll settle for watching it on TV. But now, to have these wrestlers not even compete, it's just a real, real shame. And, you know, I just don't even know what else to say about this. It's so sad that it's come to this, that the coronavirus has come to this. Please let me know what your comments and thoughts are in the comments below. And until next time, guys, you know, I'd say keep watching wrestling, but that's not happening this, this month.